All right, guys, this is Juan here with Tech Your Life, and today we have the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G Ultra in the Phantom Black. This is the American version, uh, the T-Mobile variant, and we're gonna be showing you guys uh, the unboxing and be doing the initial setup. So if you don't know how to uh, really set up your phone, you're gonna wanna watch this video to the end so you can really understand how to set this phone up. This is the first time that I'm actually setting up this phone, so you guys are gonna be able to walk through this process with me. I also got the smart tags here, and so I'll be doing another video on the smart tag. If that's something that you wanna see, leave a comment below, uh, and uh, like this video, share, subscribe. So let's get to it. All righty. So first off, what do we get out of the box? Nice little Samsung cover, little plastic cover here. And man, look at this device. Look at that, that is sweet. It's got a really, really good weight to it. All right, inside the box, what do you get? So you get the, uh, you get the, uh, the cable. It's like USB-C to USB-C. That could come in handy later if you're transferring contacts. You got the SIM ejector tool right here. And then you also, right here on the inside, you have your guide. Look at that. All about your phone. Camera, volume, key, side key, SIM card tray, all the good stuff right there. So let's put this off to the side. It looks like right here, the phone comes with a little screen protector. So for now, I'm just gonna keep that on there uh, because I like to keep my devices nice and fresh. And so for now, I'm gonna go ahead and keep that on there. And then on the back here, you see they do have a plastic film here. And this little square right here, this is where the charge coil is so that you guys can understand uh, where you should place your phones if you're gonna charge a device on your Galaxy S21. Uh, uh, or if you're going to uh, wirelessly charge your device, this is where it's gonna go, all right? So we're gonna peel that off. And man, look at that, smooth, smooth, smooth. All right, and then right here on the front, there's a little protective film right here. Look at that, and it matches perfectly, look at that. You got one, two, three, four cameras, flash and laser autofocus right there. All right, so let's fire this baby up and let's get this started. There we go. All right, so setting this up, man, I'm looking at the screen right now, and guys, I cannot tell you how clear this screen is. All right, now as you guys said, I got the T-Mobile variant. Uh, shout out to all my T-Mobile fans. And tell me in the comments below, who do you carry and why do you carry them? All right, so as soon as you open the phone, you're gonna be welcome here with this welcome screen. We have the uh, start button, so we're gonna start. All right, review all the legal terms and conditions. If you're a Samsung user, a lot of these things are the same. Nothing's really has changed. All right, choosing your Wi-Fi network. So I'm gonna turn on a network. So I'm gonna log into my network. Sorry guys, not giving you guys my password. But that's okay, so once you guys log in, and I got the phone and it's already at 64% uh, percent charge right now. So you can see that right there, 64% percent charge. And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what we're talking about right here. Alrighty, so getting the phone ready. All right, so you can see, so right now it wants us to uh, copy apps and data. So we're gonna go ahead and click next, all right? Use your old device, you'll need your old Android, iPhone, or iPad. Click next, all right? Source, so I have a get Samsung Galaxy. All right, don't wanna do cable or wireless. All right, so when you get there, this is uh, what it's gonna look like. So right now my Samsung Galaxy Note uh, 5G Ultra is connected to this. Uh, it's connected wirelessly. And so you see here, it's gonna say select data to transfer. So accounts, calls, messages, apps, settings. Right here next to apps, there's a little warning sign so we can look up there and see what it's talking about. All right. Looks like it has everything. Looks like everything should be fine. So we're gonna click done. 
All right, so you see here it is transferring the data from the old phone. And so this process uh, can take a while depending on the size of your phone. All right, so as you can see, once you're done, you can see accounts have been added. Uh, go ahead and click next. It's gonna start getting all the account info. All right, and it's gonna see, do we wanna back these things up? Back up to Google Drive, use location, send diagnostics, install updates. For that one, yes. Protect your phone fingerprints. Definitely wanna set up the fingerprint center. So we'll set mine up with a pin. I'm gonna hide that pin from you guys. All right, and then put your finger right here on the sensor. And as you can see, this thing is reading it a lot faster uh, than the last generation. So you're just gonna keep touching it. And you, you, know, you wanna do uh, different parts of your finger you know, go all the way around your finger. So no matter how you do it, it will pick up your finger. All right, setting up Google Assistant, regular T-Mobile apps. Now you can see right there, getting your phone ready. Samsung account. All you gotta do is log in, put in my password. two-step verification all right after you do that it's gonna ask you to add your name information different things like that so for now we'll keep going finish and there it is all set up and the beauty of this thing is that this thing is running in the background so you see right here um, right here where it says complete setup completing setup Install zero out of 10 applications, it's transferring data. And then here from Smart Switch, using the Smart Switch app, it's gonna take, it says about 21 minutes. That's actually very fast. Uh, my last time I had to set up a phone, it took over an hour uh, to set it up. So to go for an hour to 21 minutes, that is actually very fast. All right. Things will sync in the background. And while that's happening, you can actually start using the phone. And so there you go. Look at that, dialer pulled up, messages, Google services, all, all that's there, all the good stuff, cameras working. And so that is the initial setup of the Samsung Galaxy S 5G Ultra. If you guys like this video, if you guys got some value out of this video, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below. What do you want me to go over with the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G Ultra? What, what options do you want me to look at? What features, what sets? Uh, what questions do you have about this, all right? And if you like this video, be sure to look at my other videos. If you haven't ordered the Samsung Galaxy S21 5G yet, I'll link a, comp, uh, I'll link a video uh, to the end of the video where you can actually pre-order and get some free tech, all right? So if you have any questions about that, leave a comment below, and I'll be more than happy to help you with that, all right? This is Juan from Tech Your Life. Uh, you guys have yourselves a great day, and we'll see you in the next one.